We told you that a sexual assault charge had been dropped against this Brazilian soccer player from the Pan Am Games. Tonight, our Tammy Sutherland explores just why assault allegations are very difficult to prove in court. Even though there may be no evidence to support what the victim is telling you, if a police officer believes what the victim is saying, um, that police officer can lay the charge of sexual assault. Dave Perry is a victim advocate and former head of the Toronto Police Sex Assault Squad. He says the threshold may be low for laying charges, but bringing sexual assault investigations to court can become even more difficult for police. If they can't get enough evidence that would give the Crown Attorney confidence to go forward with a case, sometimes the cases are withdrawn on that basis. It doesn't necessarily mean somebody wasn't assaulted, it just means that there wasn't enough evidence. Questions surfaced yesterday after charges were withdrawn by the Crown in the case of Brazilian soccer player Lucas Piazzan. The Chelsea star was accused of assaulting a 21-year-old woman after celebrating his team's bronze medal win at the Pan Am Games. Toronto police confirm a sex assault charge still stands against his Brazilian teammate, Andre De Silva Ventura. Once again today, Toronto Police will not comment on camera about this case. They have said that Professional Standards is looking into the allegation that police laid these charges while knowing that they likely wouldn't stick in the first place. We call it irresponsible, unwarranted. They knew that it had been uh, assessed as not being uh, a matter that, w that justified a trial and that there was no reasonable prospect of his conviction. Yesterday, high-profile lawyer Brian Greenspan criticized police for releasing Piazzan's name and photo, saying it will be forever linked to this now-dropped charge. In general, Perry says it's a catch-22. Police must consider public safety if there's a strong belief an assault has taken place and fear other potential victims could exist. It can be damaging to the person's name and reputation, but I think the other side of that can be uh, far more ugly in terms of if we don't get it right and you know we have other people being victimized because we didn't do our job and we didn't alert the public. City News has requested more detail but the Crown Attorney's Office will not elaborate on why they felt a conviction was unlikely in the Piazzan case. At Police Headquarters, Tammy Sutherland, City News.